I want you all to know that I am a husband, a father, a doctoral student, an educator of 15 years. But what police say Danny McGeady didn't talk about in this YouTube video posted to Upper Darby Schools in July of 2020 were activities they say he engages in outside of school. McGeady was arrested in late September. He is charged with at least three peeping Tom incidents, a burglary, and on at least one occasion, unlawfully entering a home. The crimes happened in Sicklerville and Pittman. A woman who answered the door at McGeady's last known address told us he no longer lives there. NBC10 has learned Winslow police carried out a warrant at that home, now listed for sale, seizing the 39-year-old educator's computer and multiple cell phones. Investigators say McGeady's peeping actions became a pattern and usually happened at night. Police say he unlawfully entered a Camden County woman's apartment after watching her unload groceries back in February with the goal of committing a burglary. According to this criminal complaint, by the time he got into the apartment, the woman had begun changing and didn't have a shirt on. Police say he threatened her by, quote, grabbing her by the upper body and attempting to force her into her bedroom. That same victim later installing a ring doorbell system, proving to police he came back, peering into her windows once more. Good morning, Hillcrest family. This is Mr. McGeady, your new principal. A source with knowledge of the arrest says McGeady has worked at a number of schools in recent years on both sides of the river, including the Camden Board of Education. None of the superintendents we reached out to wish to comment. One of them did tell me he was hired August 1st and let go that same month before this school year began. Now, I just hung up the phone with McGeady's attorney, who tells me his client feels wrongfully accused, saying these allegations are unfounded and they look forward to fighting in court. In the meantime, a judge during a detention hearing today ordered that the former principal remain in jail. It is a ruling that his attorney, David Gelman, plans to appeal. Reporting in Winslow Township, I'm Sydney Long, NBC 10 News.